What's going on, you guys? So here at YC Santa Hot, my boy, Asian Persuasion, and we're here with, what's your name, bro? Uh, Kevin Wu. Yeah. And what did you do? <laughs> I got I got top three, two on YC Santa oh, Hot. Awesome. Yes. Playing what? Uh, ABC with Empowerment. Ooh, all right. Oh, yeah, let's right. get in there, man. So I play the standard three of each ABC. You just kind of have to play all of them. And I play the two empowering guy. It's good. It's a good pendulum scale because there's a shrink. I think it's doing either player's turn, but it never came up really relevant. But it's really good against Dark Lord to, to have against Vanny's Fiend or Christius. And it's also a light, so you can make Super Yomi with a field goal. And then I play the standard two gadgets of each. And they, they just start off all your combos. And three Thrasher, even though the card is kind of bad, but you want to just open with it. And at worst, you get discarded. And I play three Union Hanger, standard. You need to play three of it's a free pluses every turn. And I play two Empowerment, uh, terraforming target, and it, it makes the Sugriyomi live with dead hands. Like, let's say you open five, uh, four spells in Trap, that doesn't help you open Sugiyomi, and you drew one of these, it, it helps to make the Sugiyomi alive. And I play two Desire, I don't like three, because every time I play three, I banish everything, so I'd rather just play two and be safe with it. Nice. I play two Book Cliffs. Ooh, how was that made there? Uh, I actually prefer Dark Hole or whatever over this, but this does come up relevant. <laughs> like, if I can make a big board to clear everything so they don't draw the, draw the plus one, but at the end, I think Bogomuna and Dark Hole is better. But, I mean, not Bogomuna, uh, Raigeki. Yeah. And I play two Twin Twister, I didn't like three, because I, I want to go first with this deck. If I go second, I'm not as well lost because they have either have like control or something it's better to just scoop and instead of trying to play out with three twin twins so i play one instant fusion i didn't like two because i only play one known and i only want to open one and i don't want to open two so i'd rather just have it and if i have it if i don't i don't and roll up for the Photon Drasher, uh, three super, ter uh, three terraforming, three super, terraforming. <laughs> three super, ter <laughs> super terraforming, super rare high rate. Yep. And then for the searching for the empowerment and stuff. And then I play seven traps. So I play three strikes, one emptiness, and three D barrier. All right. And awesome. How many cards in the main? Uh, 41. 41. Did nice. you change anything? Everything flowed good? Or? Probably the book clips. The books. The books. Okay. For dark holes? Yeah. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Okay. And then my extra deck. It's kind of weird, but uh, I played standard three and then the Nolden for the instant fusion target. Rhapsody is pretty good to bail out cards. Uh, one Dweller against first turn against Mermel. And Kyrgyz, you have to run it. Cards insane. And two Diamond Dyers to out all the board and then go for game. And the Utopia without the Prime. I think I should have played a Prime, but I don't think it would matter. And then I play one Sugiyomi and Kutistel, and I play two Emerald. Oh, wow. okay. Two Emerald. Right. Uh, it did came up relevant at top 32, but still lost. Oh. <laughs> still lost, gotcha. It was there. Yeah, it was there, it, was it, was there. Just... it helped. <laughs> and I play two at Maxi. It's good going second, and sometimes even going first is, do you know where your opponent is playing like, trying to make a big board with everything? Maxi is relevant. And I played the Cyclone Reader. It actually won me my round nine match. I Cyclone Reader um, and I cycled it with Gear Gear X and I just keep removing all his A, B, and C and won me the game. And I played the one Red Geki and one Dark Hole. I think I should play a second Dark Hole, but it's fine. It works well for me. And I played one Pot. I actually never activated this card this entire tournament and never came up relevant. <laughs> But I think it's a really good card if I get cherry, but I never drew it even I got cherry. And then three system down is really good going second. It's literally the same purpose of this, but better. And then I play two Galaxy Cyclone. I think it's like the best card against Metalfall in my opinion. Because you can banish their scale or the or the normal fusion that they get and then you can just banish it before they activate it so they can't really going off like keep drawing free cards and my third twin twister for the hell zoics and stuff and all these quick play and maxi came relevant against that deck kind of for to stop and then two anti-spell for like 
Metal full, full more yeah. heroes that yeah. I lost to. And the one scramble. Did you get it off? Uh, yeah. And I still oh. still lost. Oh, the stroke. Oh, good. Uh, All right. Well, congrats on the top. Do you have any shout outs? Uh, shout out to Ultimate TCG Card Game. Check them out. There it is. They got the there great deals. Yes. <laughs> and shout out to SF Group that we play and play test like John Johnson and stuff. Hey. Shout out to Team 316. Play every week. A lot of, well, Anthony just beat me top 32, so I'm pretty sure he, he might even talk. Yeah. Calvin Chow, wherever he went. He ran away. Uh, Calvin, okay. Calvin, Calvin Chow. Sean Nguyen, shout out to Sean Nguyen telling me ABC is bad and I still play it. Hey. Come on. <laughs> I forgot who, oh, shout out to, to Jay, because he told me I should shout him out. And, and everyone in San Mateo that trade with me and buy my cards. All right, All right. for sure, man. Congrats. Congrats. Congrats on the top. Thanks for that.